If they're a fan of Wagyu, I like every one of them. <laughs> you can say Dan the man, but Carola Rule says Dan the Wagyu man. <laughs> That's a lot. Well, if you live in the United States and you like to go mountain climbing, you think Pikes Peak is pretty good. If you travel in South America and you see the Andes Mountains, you go to Mount Aconcagua, and whoo, it's a lot bigger than Pikes Peak. So I guess to answer your question, I don't think we've reached the top yet. I'm very proud of where we've come, but I don't think we've reached the top. The ranch in Nebraska has been in the family since the early 30s, and now then, um, there are four generations of Morgans on the Morgan Ranch. The more we know about the native wildlife in our particular area, the more we can adjust our management so that we're working together, not against each other. It has value because you're going to leave that property to another generation. And that next generation need to have the opportunity to see what the environment was like beforehand. Uh, we raise uh, Wagyu uh, because that's the Mercedes of the meat business. That is the absolute highest quality beef in the world. And Stefan Otto was thinking about starting a new business and so he contacted us via the internet and I responded. And it's history from there now. So, Ten years ago you could not sell a flat iron steak in Germany because nobody knew what it was. Today it's one of the top selling pieces cuts in Germany. Uh, same goes for what we call the teppanyaki cut. A very, very famous cut in Asia and going back to Japan, but had never been introduced in Europe and or Germany. So there are many different cuts that we have introduced uh, that because of the quality of that cut and most importantly, if we can identify the best cooking style and method, become a very popular item for the Germans in the nice restaurants. We can then make and deliver to the consumer whatever they want. Well, if you're a family and you got five kids, you don't need to eat tenderloin every night. So we'll make some other items that fit your family's eating habits and flavor profiles. The meat itself is very heat sensitive. The melting temperature of the fat is much lower than it is in commodity beef. We advise all the clients to make certain that that meat is at room temperature before you begin to cook it. That way, the lipids and the fat in the meat will be very soft. Medium rare with salt and pepper, that's it. With Wagyu, that's all you need.